Okay, the last bunch. Ah, what's this? Three Stargates? Well, actually, no. It's four Stargates if you include the uh, the one in the pyramid. And that's because we've got different versions. Maybe yeah, the a British version. Yeah, that's got special features. There's a British version, different color, but without special features. And it's the American version with some more. So, and if I ever get a Blu-ray player, I'll probably get the Blu-ray version as well. Uh, oh yeah, Cube. That's really good. Well, the, the middle one, Cube, the original film. The others are not so good. If you do watch one, watch the Cube. Yeah, Planet of the Apes. Classic sci-fi, which I, you should see if you haven't seen that. It's like a, a crime against sci-finess. Sci Angel. Buffy, Buffy. Um, I have had the others, and I'll probably get the others in the future. Not a matter of rush. Uh, sunshine. Journey to the Sun. Donnie Darko. Mm, that's okay. Well, I say that, I've only seen it once. Um, so obviously, if I've not seen it again, I'm not that mad on it. Got, got a load of... Um, good reviews and has a lot of fans but I be not one of them Alien Hunter is another film James Spader in it uh, he makes that film better than it is I think uh, yeah better, better, better than it would be with another actor now these memory run the quiet earth space fury invasion earth dark planet inalienable uh, these are like the movies you can buy for like a dollar or two in your money. Um, like really cheaply made, not the great best acting, uh, cheap sets, uh, cheap special effects, everything. Uh, but really great to watch when you're like half drunk because you could just watch and laugh and uh, you tend to enjoy it much more, I think. Then. <laughs> uh, and oh yeah, also... Sometimes you get some special versions with like actors you know. Obviously, they're running out of money, they, so they need to make some cheap movies. So there's uh, from Star Trek, from Star Galactica, and from Star Trek again. And that's called Inalienable. Born of Martin, but not of this world. Just obviously, very scary. I don't think. And this guy, which I can't really put in uh, focus very well. My lighting's a bit rubbish at the moment. Anyway, that's uh, the guy who plays Kowalski in Stargate SG-1. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, Lord of the Rings. I think the other, the first one I've got on uh, video. I never bothered to buy the DVD. Spider-Man. Uh... Zathura, that's like a kid's film. That's okay. I think I got that because it was cheap. Deja Vu got it because it was cheap. Nah, don't, not a big fan of that one. Riddick, no, nah, not a big fan. Uh, next, Zardos. It's got Sean Connery in it from James Bond, but I'm not a mad fan of that either. Cashin, I haven't actually seen this one. Yeah, it's look, another cheap one. That's like $5 or something. Um. Cashin, what does it say? Better than both Matrix sequels put together. A truly stunning sci-fi masterpiece. Well, I don't know. I'll have to see. When I when it comes out, I'll give you my verdict. Yeah. Might be good. Who knows? Yeah, they never any story. That's not the uh, the ones that you... They're not the really famous ones. That's like a TV series of it. It just wasn't anywhere near as good. So, but yeah, worth one watch, I suppose. And the rest then are other films and uh, video game DVDs and computer games, which aren't really anything to do with sci-fi, but which I have accumulated over the years. But there's a few more sci-fis down here, versions which shouldn't really have, because they're not official. Well, no, this one's official. This is uh, 
but that's like free with the magazine. These aren't official. Twilight Zone Season 1, the, uh, the 1950s, I think, version. Or 60s. I can't remember. Uh, Stargate. Uh, oh, Sequest. Uh, it's like Adventures Under the Sea, like Special Submarine. Uh, oh yeah, Buffy Season 3, which isn't official, oops. Oh. Um, oh yeah, Mystery Science Theater 3000, uh, which, like, they take all the, uh, like, the cheap movies, and, from, like, uh, this, well, a few decades ago, and do their own commentaries for it, which is actually really funny, and you probably find clips of that on YouTube. It's, uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. Uh, phase four, I think, yeah, recorded that off the TV uh, about ants with intelligence. Huh. So there we are, my DVD collection, amazing. Okay, the end.